Hi there, I'm John Fish, and today I'm here to talk to Brian Stevenson about his book and his film, Just Mercy. When people of, of privilege mm -hmm. are asked to confront their, uh, their privilege and, and to confront the fact that they might be perpetuating injustice, mm -hmm. it's uncomfortable. Yeah. How do we get people to face that discomfort and yeah. to question whether or not what they're doing is perpetuating injustice and inequality? Yeah, I think it's a really important question, and you're absolutely right. What we have to remind people is that justice only comes, change only comes, progress only comes when we're willing to do uncomfortable things. And the hard thing is that because we're human, we're biologically and psychologically programmed to do what's comfortable. And too many people positioned in power in our criminal justice system aren't proximate to poor and excluded and neglected people or abused people. We all have to be mindful of the way in which we are privileged and not let our privilege and our power block us from seeing things that we need to see. I just want to say, you know, I admire you a ton. I was hoping that we could look at the last line of the book and then maybe share, you know, why you chose to end the book on that note. Yeah. So I have it here for okay, you. Okay, terrific. There were lots of people who came up to me who needed legal help for all sorts of things. I hadn't brought business cards, so I wrote my number down for each person and encouraged them to call my office. It wasn't likely that we could do much for many of the people who needed help, but it made the journey home less sad to hope that maybe we could. Yeah, that last line I wrote um, as an epilogue. I just wanted to end the book with an awareness that um, even though we resolve some of the cases that I described, we're still in the middle of a struggle. We're still in the middle of a crisis where there are thousands of people who are wrongly convicted, and there's a lot of injustice that we still need to address. You, you probably saw when you're reading this, you know, I, I circled the word hope. Mm. And I think that's a really important message here. And was that, you know, something that you wanted to end on? That... I, I, absolutely. I often say that hopelessness is the enemy of justice. Injustice prevails where hopelessness persists. And I do think we have to be willing to fight against the things that make us hopeless so we can fight for the things that we care about that matter. I tell people about my grandmother, who was somebody who was very formative for me. And she taught me the power of proximity. And when I was about eight or nine, she started doing this thing where she would come up to me and she'd give me these hugs. And she'd squeeze me so tightly, I thought she was trying to hurt me. And then she'd see me an hour later and she'd say, Brian, do you still feel me hugging you? And if I said no, she would jump on me again. It's the simplest, but sometimes the most important thing we can do is to get proximate to people who are poor and excluded and neglected. When we're close enough to them that we can actually wrap our arms around them and embrace them and affirm their humanity and affirm their dignity, then we create the conditions to do justice work. That's what opens your eyes and your mind and your heart to doing justice. That was the one moment that really touched me. I almost started crying when I heard him talk about it. This idea of, of proximity and the idea that in order to understand the nature of injustice and therefore pursue justice, we have to be proximate to those who are facing the, the, the unjust circumstances. We sometimes forget that the people on death row are actually humans. In reading this book, you get exposure to these people who through no fault of their own, have gone through the criminal system, have spent years on death row when they were innocent people. To me, understanding this gives me a reason to pursue justice further in my own life. Catch me having a conversation with Brian Stevenson about criminal justice reform, about confronting discomfort from a privileged position, and so much more in the full episode of BookTube on YouTube Originals.